Earlier, I asked which of these tools will be able to smash the bulbous end of this teardrop-shaped piece of glass, known better as a Prince Rupert's drop. Will it be the metal pick, a wooden stick, a hammer, or none of the above? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. We're going to go with the wood okay. first, yes. right. <laughs> You've got one strike at this, okay. all right? So we're looking to hit it here on the bulbous end. Yeah. Your own time. Ready? One strike. Okay. Oh! Right, you failed. <laughs> Right, who's next? She has to get three strikes. Uh, yeah. I'll you want to go next? Sure. One strike. OK, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then, MC Hammer. Right. Let's end this. Who's doing it? it. Yeah. Right. It's over now. It's hammer time. I could drop it on it. It's going to break. Gonna OK, it. here we go. I'm going to stand back yeah, on this one. Right. Right. That's a good one. <laughs> it's that's weird, that's isn't it? Yeah. You hit it with a hammer. You hit it with a weird metal spike. And you hit it with your own rolling it's pin. Like indestructible shape yeah. or what? So it seems our fragile-looking glass bulb is a lot tougher than meets the eye. But there is one method of destruction that no one has thought of. Let's come here. Right. All I want you to do is to snap the tail off that thing about there. What? I thought you wanted me to break the big end, the bulbous end. Yeah, I do. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, just try and see what happens. Just try and give it a little break there, see if anything happens. Right here? Yeah. Go on. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Wait, <laughs> what? Wow! Right that on. was the whole. Was that cool? Thing. Or was that cool? That, that was, was awesome. Crazy. <laughs> so the answer was in fact none of the above. The human hands actually being the most lethal weapon in the room. It's like. Powder right now. Yeah, it is. That, that is. Look at it. It's yeah. the smallest pieces of glass. That is the magic of Prince Rupert's drop. There's so much stored energy inside that. It's incredible. Glass, when you heat it up, which is a very poor conductor of heat, gets bigger. But when I cooled it down quickly in the water, the outside of the glass contracted and solidified quicker than the glass on the inside. This created a state of stress-stored potential energy within the droplet. So whilst the head would withstand the impact, the slightest fracture to the fragile tail releases this potential energy in the form of a shock wave which causes the droplet to shatter. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. Pretty cool. You understand yeah. it? Makes sense? I like yeah. it. Right, good stuff. Only one thing left to do then. Your job. Four brooms over there tidying up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not it. Not it. Yeah, right. Thanks for having us. Yeah.